Welcome to SVG TV News for Wednesday, February 27, 2019. I am Jennifer Richardson with the details. The life of a child is precious and every Vincentian has been encouraged to play a role in ensuring that every child is able to live a healthy life. This, as the World Pediatric Project launched last evening, its Every Child Counts campaign. WPP is a non-profit organization which provides pediatric surgical and diagnostic services to the nation's children, as well as children from other neighboring countries, for the last 17 years. Speaking at the launch event held at the bungalow, WPP's executive director of the Eastern Caribbean, Lauren McIntosh, said one of the first aims of the campaign is to raise over $270,000 in two years to assist the efforts of the WPP here in SVG. The Every Child Counts campaign is a local initiative and it's twofold. The first part is actually to boost awareness of WPP and the work we have done and diligently continue to do in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We want to make sure that every household in St. Vincent is aware of what WPP does, who we are and what we're about. The campaign also aims to assist in funding the program and sustainability, longevity of the program for years to come. And as, as such, we have actually, um, we have an objective, a funding objective, a target of 270,000 EC dollars, which we are hoping to raise over two years. Now many of you are wondering, how are we going to raise these funds? But I have no doubt that most of us will make sure that we will probably surpass and exceed this benchmark. One of the ways we're going to actually do this is to have a series of events over the two years. And I won't reveal all of the events tonight or as time progresses, we'll actually reveal the various events that we will be having. And some of our partners are actually here as well tonight for those upcoming events. Apart from the events where we'll be looking for your support, whether it is you can partner with us for sponsorship at the events, where you can buy a ticket, these little steps will go a long way in helping more children in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. McIntosh said the funds will assist the WPP to do more for the nation's children and maintain SVG status as a WPP hub for the region. So this 270,000 EC dollars, which is the equivalent of 100,000 US, it will enable the current 15 diagnostic and surgical teams scheduled to travel to St. Vincent this year to continue their outreach in the years to come. We will be able to mobilize an additional two to three diagnostic and surgical teams each year to heal more children in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We would be able to provide funding for two additional children each year to receive complex surgical care in the United States and also explore providing additional observerships and neonatal training for our doctors and nurses. We have a transformation 2023 plan and that is that by 2023 every child should have access to the critical care that they need. And in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we are actually the hub for the Eastern Caribbean of the WPP. And I think that's something that we should all embrace and we should be proud of. And we should make sure that we keep it here. And by doing so, raise funds locally. Most of the funds currently that we raise would be raised in the US. So I think it's important that we raise funds together as a nation. President of the Chamber of Industry and Commerce, Philippa Graves, used the opportunity to appeal to the business community to donate to the WPP cause, which she said can help to save a child's life. Children are our future and we must do all we can to afford them the right and proper health care. I am making a clarion call for the business community of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Chamber members, future members, and non-members to support the efforts of the World Pediatric Project in the Every Child Counts campaign. You can contact the Secretariat at the WPP directly, or you can contact the Secretariat here at the Chamber. 
Generous monetary donations are also appreciated, are always appreciated. So too would your kind in contributions. The Chamber of Industry and Commerce stands at the ready to facilitate the trust of the campaign, and we sincerely hope that all the objectives are met. Thanks to the administrators of the WPP for reaching out to us as one of your partners. We are happy to be identified with your cause. Meanwhile, Shelley's steward and Blessed Arthur, both of whom received medical care through the WPP Medical Mission, took the opportunity to highlight how the medical care from the WPP was able to transform their lives. About my tongue, lips, fingers, and sole of my feet were torn in blue when I cried or laughed. After a series of doctor visits, I was diagnosed with tetralogy of fallot. In open heart surgery at five months old, I had five life-saving surgeries, with the last being in September of 2016. Over the years, I have endured a whole bunch of various tests, poking and pruding, and many other unpleasant examinations. Though important and useful at times, reducing me to tears and causing me to think and question, why me? WPP, you mean the world to me. You have given me courage, hope, and inspiration. I am full of potential, and my future looks more more than brighter. This is possible because of you. You have provided critical care for me and many other children, not only in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but other countries, other Caribbean islands. You have, impact my, you have impacted my life because I am alive and a living testimony of the care you have provided. Thanks to the surgery that I have made over the years, I am able to speak without worrying about my, how clear I'm speaking because my speech has improved a lot, as well as my nose has, it doesn't look as noticeable, so a lot of people would see me and not know that I was born with Cliff Lippon Pallet. Thanks to the World Pediatric Program. And I would like to encourage a lot of you, if it is possible for you to donate, you should, <laughs> you know, because there are a lot of other people that does not have the opportunity and their life would have been a lot more difficult than mine was. So I would like to encourage you guys to donate to the World Pediatric Program. The report by the International Monetary Fund following its most recent Article 4 consultation to SVG says Invest SVG has a major role to play in further strengthening the country's investment and business environment. This was one of the main recommendations made in the IMF's Article 4 consultation which focused on policies to achieve stronger and sustainable growth, build fiscal buffers, and ensure financial stability. Larissa Pogsley Keda tells us more in this second part to her report on what was said by the Washington-based financial institution. Invest SVG, the government's investment promotion agency, should become a one-stop shop to streamline investment procedures and reduce the administrative burden for potential investors. This is the recommendation of the International Monetary Fund IMF in its most recent report on St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Based on its executive board review, the IMF stated that SVG's investment and business environment can be strengthened further with the procedural and legislative requirements for investment currently provided in several laws across different sectors, and this should be clearly established in a standalone investment law. The report went on to state that to further enhance transparency and protect the fiscal revenues, tax incentives should be streamlined and their scope for discretion be minimized. Invest SVG, formerly known as the National Investment Promotions Inc., operates under the direction of the Ministry of Finance, Economic Planning and Sustainable Development. The agency's mandate is to attract foreign direct investment to St. Vincent and the Grenadines through the promotion of seven specific sectors, namely tourism development, 
agro-processing, light manufacturing, creative industries, internal financial services, information and communication technology, and renewable energy. Invest SVG also stimulates export development by assisting local producers and businesses become export-ready by offering quality products and services to lucrative markets through access to grants, training and opportunities to attend regional and international expositions. In the 2019 budget presentation, Minister of Finance Camilo Gonzalez indicated that the government has injected additional funding so that the agency will be able to execute programs and projects to help boost the country's economy. Reporting for SVG TV News, Larissa Pogs, the kid. It is important to recognize stalwarts when they're alive. So says President of the SVG Calypsonians Association, Earl Bennett, as he spoke at last Saturday's media launch of Vinci Mass 2019. Bennett said that there are many persons who have contributed to the development of the Calypso art form and Vinci Mass on a whole. He proposed the creation of a national awards to recognize the efforts of these persons. I have a pet peeve. I really believe that we need to honor our own. And honor our own with our own national honors. As the president of the Simpson Grandin's Calisonian Association, I'm going to make a pledge that we're going to honor several of our stalwarts. And not only our stalwarts, but also those persons who have been with us as our partners over the years. I think it's time that we homage to those who have given and given much and have contributed significantly. It is all good and well to give plaudits. The best you hear of some persons is at their funeral, is at the obituary, is at their eulogy. We need to honor people when it matters. Minister of Tourism, Sports and Culture, Cesar Mackey, said it is important to provide more avenues for Calypsonians and soccer artists to ply their trade. He said work is underway for the creation of an independent song competition. Calypso Mass. Let me touch on Calypso for a brief while. The president of the Calypso Association, he happens to have the same birthday like I do, 22nd of October. And we had a recent discussion. And we said we have to create more opportunities for the Calypsonians and for the soca artists in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We can no longer be satisfied that they only do so at carnival time. And we identified, he put forward the suggestion, why don't we have, as we celebrate our 40th anniversary of independence, a Calypso competition? In discussing it with my staff, we suggested, why don't we expand that to be a song competition, independent song competition, where we can include all the other genres. So, we will soon make a decision, but we will have something happening for our 40th anniversary where Calypso Soka is concerned and the other genres of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. An earthquake with a magnitude of 4.6 rocked several Caribbean islands, including SVG, early Wednesday morning. The Trinidad-based Seismic Research Center, the SRC, of the University, University of the West Indies, the UWI, said the quake, which occurred at 1.13 a.m. local time, was located at latitude 12.84 north, longitude 60.64 west, and at a depth of 22 kilometers. The quake was felt 74 kilometers southeast of Kingstown, SVG's capital. 118 kilometers west-southwest of the Barbados capital, Bridgetown, and 137 kilometers south-southeast of Castries, the St. Lucian capital. Fifty residents in the Richmond area are now using organic farming techniques to plant their vegetables and fruits, which has been a huge success. This, according to the director of the Richmond Vale Academy, Stina Herberg, who told SVG TV News in a recent interview that most of the persons are women who grasp the opportunity to learn the farming technique on the SVG's Climate Change Compliance Conference initiative two years ago. And with support from the St. Vincent Preservation Fund, we started the uh, first five home gardens. It's like backyard farming with organic farming techniques two years ago. This is a great success and we thank this fund very much because without their 
trust and support, we wouldn't really get started. Then the Canadian Fund for Local Initiatives funded another 15 gardens, which was a further success. And right now we are um, on a fund with Global Environment Facility, small grant program, making another 30 home gardens. So by uh, June, we will have supported families, 50 different families uh, in the North Leeward region, starting up their gardens. Herberg said she is looking forward to extending the organic farming program to several communities on the Leeward and Windward sides of the island sometime this year. One team from Richmond Valley Academy has uh, head out, headed up to Fancy a week ago and uh, helped Marsha Williams to start her home garden. And we are right now seeking funding for gardens to be started in Fancy in uh, Georgetown and Sandy Bay, as we will first of all stick to the rural areas in the north before we would move further south. So under food and water security, it was important for us to focus on organic, local, healthy food, nutrition, first of all showing the example and then move out to different villages and join with families and community groups that would like to learn how do we grow more of our own healthy food. Richmond Vale Academy is encouraging more persons to get involved in organic farming, noting that she is willing to share the knowledge with interested groups and individuals. Every year, an estimated 900 persons locally and internationally visit the, the academy to learn more about organic farming techniques. Herberg said 800 fruit plants were successfully grown using organic farming techniques, which will be of benefit to the country. A solar photovoltaic system will be added to the generation mix in Union Island. A news release from the St. Vincent Electricity Company, Vinleg, said the photovoltaic system was introduced in keeping with the mandate of the company and that of the government to increase the penetration of renewable energy in the production of electricity. The solar PV and battery energy storage project is being funded through a grant to the government from United Arab Emirates of $3 million U.S. dollars. Vinleg said the next stage of the project will see the termination of cables and once this is completed, the project will move into its final stage, which is the testing or commissioning stage. The project is expected to be functional by the end of March this year. Upon completion, the Union Island solar PV plant is projected to generate excess electricity that is required to supply the average daytime load on the island. The electricity company said there are several environmental benefits that will be derived from the solar PV project. It said during times when the diesel generators are offline, there will be limited noise pollution and improved air quality in the area since there will be no exhaust from the diesel generation. So the expected annual energy output from the solar plant is 1,025 megawatts, which is approximately 32% of the electricity generated on Union Island last year. Mm -hmm.